So this is where the process starts. Um, this is what we call the brew house. This is where the cooking happens. Before we get to the cooking part, these are our water tanks. Um, as brewers, we're very particular about water. We get municipal water uh, from rainwater, which is not good enough for us as, as brewers to do beer with. So we take it through a very rigorous filtration process. We filter it down to a micron, one micron. So it removes all known pathogens, nothing can pass through. Um, municipal water contains a lot of chlorine, which protects the water from micro-contamination, but chlorine is not good for me as a brewer. So we take the chlorine out using um, activated carbon, and then we have very clean water which we use to brew with. In the brew house, that's where the cooking takes place. Malted barley is converted into simpler sugars like your glucose, maltose, maltose trials. And this happens in a natural process in a meshing, uh, mesh, mesh tan. And um, the, 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 the grain itself, the malt, um, at the end of the day will be separated into the sweet wort and spent grains. The spent grains are very rich in proteins. So at the moment we're giving them away to the farmers, local farmers, which they give away to cows. Uh, as part of our giving back to the community. And then um, the sweet wort is cooled down after we add hops and we boil it to sterilize it, we cool it down and we send it to fermenters. And right now, as I was saying, we produce only 30,000 liters. The whole process is bottlenecked in uh, fermentation because this is where the beer spends most of its time in. I mean, we ferment for at least seven days and then we mature the beer for at least two weeks. So there's a 21 day uh, turnaround time in these tanks. This is the beer that has finished fermenting, right? So now we're taking it from a fermenter and then look how it looks like. It looks very cloudy and milky because it still contains a whole lot of proteins, polyphenols, excess yeast. But you know, if you give your customer something that looks like that, nobody will drink it. So we have to take it through a filter and it is this filter that clarifies the beer and basically, from what you saw, you get something as bright as clear as this. And then we are one of the few people also who pasteurize the beer. So from bright beer tank, the beer goes through a pasteurizer, which heats up the beer and cools it down. So if there's any micro contamination in the beer, it gets killed immediately and the beer is then uh, packed into kegs. So what happens is, when the kegs come back from the market, they come back dirty, so we put them aside, and then we wash them with a keg washer, and then from being washed, they get steamed as well to make sure there's absolutely nothing inside the keg that can upset, um, upset our beer. And then you get the clean pasteurized beer with a clean sterilized keg, and then we fill it in the filling machine and then it gets sent into a fridge so we try not to break the cold chain even though the beer is pasteurized we try not to break the cold chain to give our beer that extra shelf life and then we send it out to the market after that